We all have a script in our heads for how it ends. Maybe you picture a sudden cut to black. Maybe you picture a tunnel of light. Maybe you picture a soul floating up toward the ceiling. These are comforting stories, but they are stories. When we actually look at the biology of the final moment, we don't find a fade out. We find a firework show. Science suggests that your final moments aren't about leaving reality. They are about your brain frantically, beautifully, trying to make sense of it one last time. Let's walk through the last 60 seconds of your consciousness. Phase one, the surge. The heart stops, the blood flow ceases. You might think this is where the lights go out, but for your brain, the show is just starting. Myth, death is instant darkness. Reality, it's a gamma burst. Recent studies have captured something incredible in the dying brain, a massive surge of gamma waves. These are the brain waves associated with high-level cognitive processing, memory recall, and intense focus. In this moment, you aren't asleep. You are hyperlucid. Your brain is dumping its cash. This is why people report their life flashing before their eyes. It's not a metaphor. It's a biological data dump. Your brain is playing decades of memory in a desperate attempt to find a solution to the problem of shutting down. Phase two, the dissolution. As the oxygen fades, the systems that maintain your self begin to fail. We spend our whole lives building a wall between me and the universe. That wall is built by the parietal lobes, but right now, that part of your brain is going offline. Myth. You leave your body and float above it. Reality. The feeling of being in a body dissolves. You don't float up, you expand out. The sensation of separation vanishes. This explains the universal feeling of peace and unity reported in near-death experiences. It's not that you have entered heaven. It's that the biological barrier that kept you separate from the world has finally crumbled. You aren't leaving. You are just forgetting that you were ever separate. Phase three, the time trap. Now, things get weird. Physics tells us that time is relative. It's a construct of the brain. As your processing speed changes, your perception of time distorts. Myth, death is a moment. Reality, it might feel like an eternity. Some physicists argue that if your consciousness loses its connection to the clock of the outside world, the final second of your life could stretch out infinitely from your perspective. You might not experience an end at all. You might just exist in a final stretched out now. There is no after. There is just a forever happening inside the last spark of electricity. Phase four, the return, the final moment. Finally, the narrative ends. We are terrified of this part because we think we are losing our story. But neuroscience suggests the self is just a construct of a character that your brain writes every morning. When the writing stops, the character doesn't suffer. The character simply resolves. Think back to the time before you were born. Was it dark? Was it scary? Was it lonely? No, it was neutral. It was safe. The atoms that make you up, the information that encodes you doesn't vanish. It transforms. You don't step into the dark. You step out of the simulation. So the next time you worry about the end, remember, it's not a shutdown. It's a surge. It's not a departure. It's a reunion. And scientifically speaking, you've already done it once before. I'm Think Glent. Keep thinking.